Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new, welcome to Sean's World. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, please make sure you do before you leave. I'd really appreciate that. And don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. Follow my blog, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. So anywho, I saw Rihanna with this makeup look on Sunday and I really fell in love. It was very soft and it was just so pretty. And I'm like, I need to do that look. I know it's a bit late, but better late than never. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it today. I really, really love the look and I wanted to recreate it. So I hope I do a good job because she's just so beautiful. So yeah, be kind to me. And if you wanna see how I achieve that look, keep well, on. Go ahead and prime my lids and I'm gonna be using the LA Girls Pro Concealer. And after I've applied this, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with the L'Oreal Translucent Powder just to make sure that nothing slips off my lid and it stays in place. So using the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my brows. She had a really nice highlight going on. So now I'm going to go ahead and use this brown for my crease, my crease area. intensify the look and I'm going to use this black from the sleek also oh special palette from the same sleek also special palette actually I'm gonna mix it with this tell if she had a matte lid or glittery lid but I'm just gonna go ahead and freestyle hopefully it comes out something like Rihanna's makeup I'm going to blend everything together. It's meant to be a really easy look. So 
so I've done my wing off camera and I used my NYC liquid liner. So now I'm going to apply these, the Pretty Licious lashes and I love, love, love these lashes as well. She had really nice natural looking fluttery lashes. I'll be using the black opal foundation stick and this is in the shade nutmeg I like the coverage of these foundation sticks it's just that they make me oily after a certain time so yeah now just gonna blend that out Gives really good coverage. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline and then I'm going to smudge it on because she had a bit of smudging going on underneath her lash line. So from the same sleek palette I'm going to use the black here to just smudge just a little bit underneath, not too much. So for my highlight, I'm just gonna use the same LA Girl Spur Concealer in Fawn and then I'm going to set it with Sasha Buttercup so I'm just going to go ahead and do it off camera. For our face, I'm going to be using the same L'Oreal Translucent Powder and I have to be ever so careful because it just flies all over the place. I'm going to take up a little bit like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same brown I used for my crease area. And for my blush, I'm using the Sleek Blush by 3. <coughs> and I'll be using Pink Ice. For the highlight, I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer in Rock On World. <coughs> Sorry guys. Shot the lips by using this pencil from NYX and it's in the shade Auburn. Then I'm going to use Mink from Revlon and then I'm going to top that off with NYX Butter Gloss in Ginger Snap. Rihanna had really neutral lips, almost like it was just gloss, but I just wanted to use some lipstick before I added my gloss. So after I'm finished with my lips, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my look, put on some clothes, do my hair and come back and give you the final look. <laughs> 